What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, it was a little crazy. Yeah, we defeated Team Rocket. We hopefully uh, finished him for one last time and everything, and now it is finally time to go back to Mahogany Town and do the next route because, well, you know what? Sick and tired of talking about Team Rocket. Sick and tired of just thinking about Team Rocket. So, here we are in Route 44, and, well, we're going to be battling quite a few people. This has always been, like, an interesting area for me, because you usually find some of the interesting Pokemon around here. You know, like A-Bomb, Lickitung, Weeping Bell, you know, those kinds of Pokemon. Correct me if I'm wrong, if it's the wrong area right here in Heart Gold and everything. So, here we are, battling another Psychic, and yes, we're going to go with the bite, because Toxic Batman's looking like... Mm. Looking like a Batman right there. Look at that, look at that. Natu has been fainted. We're getting more experience points and all that credit. And look at this, Kadabra is going to be coming out. Well, guess what? Toxic Batman's not afraid of a Psychic-type Pokemon because he's got, it. he's got himself a bite attack. Look at that. Anywho, guys, you guys already caught my uh, Draven Speaks video right here. You guys probably already know. This game right here, as well as Pokemon Sword and Shield, will be the only ones that will be narrated and be featured on my channel for the time being. Thankfully, because of a very, very long schedule that we're going to be having. Oh man, it's been a while. So, here we go, grabbing ourselves an apricorn. Look at that, we got ourselves a red apricorn. You know, when was the last time I actually used the freaking uh, apricorn? Or what are the Pokeballs that come with those apricorns? It's been a while. A long, long time. But yes, guys, schedule has changed. And the only games that we'll be featuring right here, right now, is Heart Gold and Sword and Shield. So... Stay comfortable, guys, because we're going to be doing a lot of adventure right here and a lot of narrating. Here we go, going up against Fisherman Edgar, and he's coming out with his Rem Raid right here. Now, there is one, so there is a little something that, you know, remind, or that it just brought, that's been brought up right here now. Been playing Pokemon Stadium 2. As you guys already know, it's Generation 2 Pokemon and all that stuff. And yeah, that game has taught me a lot about the Pokemon that, you know, I've overlooked, like Rem Raid. Holy crap, Remory is a, a strong Pokemon, and, uh, well, let's see, who else? Who else was pretty strong that I just happened to overlook? Oh, yeah, Persian's another Pokemon that I've overlooked. High attack, high speed, god dang. Maybe next time I'll be able to actually take on this Pokemon right now, or actually use that Pokemon and whatnot. Who else have I overlooked? I gotta go look at Pokemon Stadium 2 and all that stuff, but look at this. We're kicking butt, taking names, Fluff Volt is destroying everybody, and, well, look at that. We defeated Fisherman Edgar. He's no more. He's like, this isn't right. That's right, it ain't right because you know what? We just whooped on that ass. Okay, so let us move on right here. We're gonna be swimming. There happens to be a Pokeball around here. And look at this, Nessie giving us a ride on her back or his back. Or I don't even know if it's a he or she. I don't even know. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna get a, a repel right here because I don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon. And, well, let's see, look at that Pokeball right here, there's a large, formidable tree, and we get ourselves a Max Revive. Definitely save those for the Pokemon League, guys, because it's gonna get a little interesting, or, you know, for the final boss around here. It doesn't really matter. So, we're gonna be swimming up, and, uh, well, we're gonna be battling some more trainers right around here, and he's like... Saying something about a polywag and all that crud. So let's go right ahead and destroy this fisherman. Now this is Fisherman Wilton. We'll get to what he does in a little bit. He's very, very special. But as you can see, Goldeen looking like Goldeen. And we're going to Thunder Punch the whole crap out of it. Look at this. Thunder Punch. Gone. Goldeen. Destroyed. Yes, sir. Okay. Alrighty. Seem a little too excited for this game right now. I don't even know. Probably because it's been a while since we've been uh, on Pokemon Heart Gold. Yeah, it's not my intentions to actually, you know, have Heart Gold uh, come sporadically here and there. I get it, guys. It's starting to become kind of like a Pokemon Soul Silver when I was driving next to 7 Eleven, but trust me on this one. I've already gotten the footage. I've already. Let's see. I've already narrated some of them, so there will be plenty of videos that come out, especially on my busy ass schedule. So don't worry, guys. We got this. We got this. And. Well, this guy's gonna come out with a Sea King. Let's see how big of a king he is. It's a male, so it is a Sea King. I'm gonna keep on asking the same question every single time, guys. If a Sea King is a female, wouldn't it be called a Sea Queen? I don't know. 
I'm not trying to change anything with like gender in, uh, gender uh, inclusion or anything like that. I'm just saying, is it a sea queen or a sea king? I don't even know. If I had a sea, a sea king that was a female, I would name it sea queen. You know, because it's female and all that stuff. But, eh, you know, it is what it is and all that stuff. So comment down below. So, after getting this guy right here, he will try and give you your phone, or he will try and get your phone number. Now, make sure to get this guy's phone number, because he is actually the guy that will actually give you a water stone if you're looking for a Pokemon that to evolve with the water stone. So, again, Wilton, that's the guy. And, of course, our mom's going to have to call, so I'm not going to uh, answer that. I'm sorry. Too many calls annoying and of course this guy wants to look for some rare Pokemon right here so let's go ahead and show him some of our rare Pokemon I'm pretty sure he doesn't have I'm pretty sure he doesn't have uh, what was it Lapras so here we are taking on uh, on Rhyhorn and I picked the wrong Pokemon for this one right here so we're just gonna have to take a dig see what this Pokemon's all about and here comes this scary face but it misses so here we go dig attack will it be strong enough to defeat this guy mm, not really took a lot of HP, but it is okay. But here comes a rocks, a Rock Blast, and, uh, oh god. We're getting pelted two times right there. And so, here we are, going up against another dig, and, well, hopefully this guy doesn't have an Earthquake attack right here, so there goes a scary face, doesn't work. Let's go, dig attack for the win. Say goodbye to, or what? Yeah, say goodbye to Rhyhorn. Just looking at that, just kind of like, kind of confuses me just a little bit. But look at this, guys. We grew to level 39 with Hercules, and, well, we're good. We are good. Okay, so now, here we are grabbing ourselves an Ultra Ball. Always use an Ultra Ball, or always find yourself an Ultra Ball and all that crud. And now, let's go right here and battle another cool trainer. So let's go ahead and uh, switch out our Pokemon. Give some love into other Pokemon, because, well, we kind of need to. Alrighty. Who is next? And here we have Ace Trainer Alan ready to beat us. And he's coming out with his Charmeleon. But guess what? We got Toxic Batman. Toxic Batman's going with a air cutter. And look at that. Toxic Batman wins. Will he? Can he? Oh, crap. Spunk too soon. And here comes a scary face attack. Okay. Alrighty. So a lot of these trainers are trying to use these, uh, these, these, uh, these which you call it these uh, stat effectors and all that crud so here we go again air cutter hopefully it's a critical hit come on and uh charmeleon survives it is a sturdy pokemon and this guy will be switching out his pokemon and coming out with a magnemite okay the ai right here is kind of uh, playing tricks with me right now it's getting a little smart i don't know and well we're gonna have to switch out ourselves because yeah Magnemite, Steel, Electric type Pokemon, we don't want any of that. None of that, uh, what was it, how many pounds? 23 pounds of uh, Magnemite right there. And look at this, we're getting ourselves a Thunder Wave. Well, we are cursed with the Paralysis. The Paralysis Curse, because we always get Paralyzed somehow. And of course, Magnemite's going with a Spark. Making us look bad right here. Oh, you suck. Oh, crud, any. Well, Lava Plume does its thing. Still paralyzed, but, you know, it still does its thing. And, well, we get another, uh, a few more experience points. And here he comes out with a Charmeleon. So let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with Nessie right here. Luckily for us, Charmeleon, not up to par. He's actually, what, uh, well, you know, he's, he's a few HP short to actually get defeated. So let's go right ahead and use Surf Attack for the win. Say goodbye to Charmeleon. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, alrighty. Yes, we're actually victorious right here. Okay, alrighty. So, we did a pretty good job battling all these trainers right here. And, uh, well, let's see. I think there's another... Yes, there's another cool trainer right there. So, well, let's go right ahead and heal our Cinder first. And then, uh, see what we can do afterwards and all that stuff. So, anywho, guys. Uh, some of you guys are also wondering, when is Pokemon Sword and Shield coming back? I did say the week of the 15th that is still the plan right now I still haven't touched my uh, Nintendo switch and uh, you know did anything on them so I haven't progressed at all like I said I will be training up my Pokemon I will be you know getting ready for the Pokemon link because that's exactly where we're going to and yes we will be getting some Pokemon uh, Pokemon uh, sorted chill episodes coming out Hopefully by next week and all that crud. So here we are taking on Ace Trainer Sybil, ready to go with a Mareep and uh, well, all right Mareep, 
See how fluffy you are. Let's go with a bite attack. Please do not paralyze us. Please, please, please don't. Come on, come on. Ah, crap. Okay, so there's a cotton spore. Did not work. So let's go again with another bite attack. And, well, look at this. Bite attack does its thing. Toxic Batman is victorious. And... Well, Toxic Batman grows to level 36. I am happy about that. And Cinder grows to level 37. Now, here comes a Blossom right here, so I am actually going to keep Tunks of Batman, and we're going to just, you know, destroy Blossom right here with... Okay, so I may have pressed the button a little too quickly for that one, and yeah, I, I asked for that. Yeah, that, that right there is on me. That's on me, okay. Well, hopefully Air Cutter does it, and here comes a Magical Leaf attack. Not for the win, but for a for sure hit. And yes, because of our stupidity, we don't get an attack off, and well, here comes an acid attack. And nothing right there, and of course, again, no, god dang it. Okay, hit me, let's go. At this point, I'm already mad. Mad as hell, and yes, we're still not pro- oh, god dang it. Oh god, I hate you. Okay, so, that's three turns. Three friggin' turns. And, well, here we go, Air Cutter, finally! And, well, let's go right ahead and, uh, well, okay, yeah, we're gonna get hit. See, this is very frustrating right now. Very, very frustrating. And here we go, Air Cutter attack. Let's go! For the win! I should've went with a fly attack, but there was that chance that we went... We probably would've been, you know, not hitting anybody. That's actually happened to me before. So that makes two paralysis in one episode. I think I could beat the record of seven. And, well, here we go. We're going to go to the final trainer right here. And we already know that this guy's a bird trainer and all that crud. And good god, my screen has gone off. And I'm not reading. Okay, there it is. Okay. So do you know anything about the legendary bird Pokemon? Yes, I do. I caught them all in, uh, what was it? In Leaf Green. Every game I've been in. And here we go. Vance go coming off with this Hoot Hoot. And, well... Fluff Volt, Thunder Punching, Fluff Volt, Victorious, making all these Pokemon chickens. Yeah, buddy, look at that. Hoot Hoot has been defeated. I am happy. And, well, here comes out with a Pidgeotto. So let's go ahead and stay with Fluff Volt right here. We don't need anybody else. We just need to get Fluff Volt a few more experience points for, you know, level 39 and all that crud. So here we go. Thunder Punch for the win. And say no more, Pidgeotto has been defeated. And, well, look at that. We are victorious. Of course, he's going to be telling us about the legendary birds and all that stuff. So, anywho, guys, thank you for watching this episode. In the next one, we will be going into the ice path and all that stuff. Of course, we're going to get his number right there. And uh, from there, we're going to be going into Blackthorn City and all that stuff. So, thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.